Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, I'm going to talk about nutrition for your hormones part two. Um, the other thing that I realized, I don't really watch my videos too much after I do them, but for some reason, like the still screen on them, I'm always like, what? so I really hope that's the one that shows up for you if you're tuning in later. Um, anyway, super excited to talk about more hormones and how to eat for your cycle and get the most out of your body and energy. So a um, little recap yesterday, we talked about estrogen and, and how estrogen is different than progesterone, when that occurs, everything else. All this is honored in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. I'm talking about exercise. I really cover three things, meals, movement, and mindset that match with your hormones instead of fighting against your body. Totally different way of thinking about your nutrition. Uh, so if you have questions, message me um, or you can comment below. You know, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have because this is very, very different. And a lot of times when, you know, if you're going to be talking to another guy about this, like, yeah, I'm going to eat for my hormones, they're going to be like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why do you really need to do that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, they don't really have the same hormones. So of course, it's going to be different. So I'm excited. I'm just going to jump right into what we're going to talk about. Some camera here so you guys can see this. Yay. Okay. Estrogen and progesterone again. Who doesn't love talking about all of this? Everybody does. Okay. So quick recap. Day, when we're looking at the, about a month, right? About day 28 here. Um, this is about what your cycle is. This is average. Of course, not everybody is like that. Every body is different. If you're under stress or if you've gone through a hormonal shift, your body's going to be different than this. Also, I had some other questions on this. If you're perimenopause or menopausal, again, also, this is very different. Your body still goes through shifts and changes in hormone. It's on a different scale, though. But I do have a completely separate program for women that fit into that category. So if you are interested, let me know. Um, day one is the first day of your cycle here. Day 28 is the last day before your period starts again. And day 14 is about when you ovulate. The important thing about this is that what happens during the first couple of weeks is completely different than what happens during the second couple of weeks. So in talking about progesterone and the important things about progesterone and why it's different is that progesterone does something completely different in your body than estrogen. Progesterone actually burns fat naturally progesterone um, slows down your digestive system and there, and it can actually kind of zap your energy a little bit more. It literally means progestation. So your body is preparing for a viable pregnancy every month, whether that happens or not. Yay. Um, but there's ways that you can increase how much fat you're naturally burning here with progesterone. You can make progesterone your friend. Uh, and that's what we're going to kind of talk about. So and also with basal body temperature, if you're following that after ovulation, your basal body temperature will raise and it will be higher during progesterone phase. It should at least. So in matching with that, to help your body burn more fat naturally, we are going to focus on a couple of things. One, we're going to focus on warming foods. Uh, warming foods, these are going to be things like beef and bacon. Again, this is an Eastern medicine philosophy, so it can sound really different. Um, spices, any type of spicy food. Cinnamon is very warming, so is ginger. Um, and just, you know, peppers are very, very spicy. Also beverages, have your beverages at room temperature or warmer. Those will help bring the internal heat up to help you work with progesterone more. Of course, I also recommend, you know, having high protein meals. Um, I'm going to talk more about protein and how to kind of tailor your meals tomorrow. And again, stay tuned. I'm going to be going into meals for teachers, you know, people on the go that you want high protein, healthy meals, how to put those together, what that looks like, easy things to do, all that stuff. But Overall, when you're looking at incorporating these high protein, healthy meals, you can absolutely include a lot of these foods because that's going to help you boost your progesterone and burn more fat naturally. Yay. Okay. The other thing that burns and targets uh, fat is actually going through and doing a fasting cleanse. Now, this is something that I walk people through. This is not something that I just like to just kind of willy-nilly talk about and have people try and tackle on their own. It's a lot to go through, and I want to make sure it's the appropriate thing for you to do and, you know, that it's going to get you the right result, that you're targeting the right thing for you. So a fasting cleanse looks like this. You basically won't be eating a full meal. You let your body go through and let your digestive system rest. You have small snacks throughout the day to keep your blood sugar going. Um, but during the first eight hours of the day, your body is burning stored carbohydrate. During this, after that eight-hour point, you target the fat cells. So it's fasting, meaning you're going to target the fat cells. Then it, it targets those fat cells. It 
releases any excess hormone, having a cleanse, specific cleanse drink with an aloe component, that's an important part, that is what releases it from the body and gets it flushed out. If you're not using this cleanse drink and you're doing fasting, a lot of times that excess either toxin or hormone or junk, stress, everything else is hanging out in the body and it can get encapsulated again in a fat cell and then you're kind of spinning your wheels and you're like, what the heck? How come this isn't working? Well, you got to get rid of it. Um, another thing to and talk about is that when we talk about cleansing, and I go through this a lot with people, it is not a cleanse where you run into the bathroom, if you know what I mean. You know, like you can't like, oh my God, I'm cleansing. I can't leave the house. Ooh. Nope. You can, it's a cellular cleanse. So you're just kind of not eating a full meal and you know, you're, you know, urinating more because you're drinking lots of water, doing all that stuff, but it's very, very different. That targets, but doing that fast targets your fat cells differently. That combined with doing it during your progesterone phase, which is after you ovulate, before your period starts again, you burn so much more fat naturally because that's what progesterone does. So that is fantastic. If you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my kids are getting a little bit rowdy now in the background. So I'm going to cut the video short, but i um, super excited to talk to you about um, high protein meals and everything else and how to tailor that for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to be tired. So everybody, you know, that's a teacher, the video that I do tomorrow, send them the video. Cause they're going to be like, Oh my God, thank you. I can have healthy, quick meals. Cause they have less than five minutes to eat really. So anyway, everybody have a great night and we will chat with you tomorrow.